Welcome to episode one of the Gary That Gary podcast. I am your host, Gary That Gary. Um, very excited to be kicking this off, especially on Valentine's Day, considering the topic is going to be dating, relationships, marriage. Um, we're going to go all down different different angles of every bit of that. Um, and I thought, you know, um, trying to figure out where I'm going to go with my life. And I thought, you know, who better than to talk about the screwed up stuff that they've done in relationships than me? between the dating and the marriages and the live-ins and everything else. I mean, you know, I, I, I've done everything wrong, so hopefully we can learn from that. Uh, we can have a good time because i got some really, really heinous stories um, that I've experienced. Um, and uh, we're going to go from there, man. So here we go. Um, here's the disclaimer. Um, this is not a safe space. Uh, this is not somewhere to come and feel warm and fuzzy. If you get offended easily, then this is really not the place for you to be. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest with my experiences, um, and they are my experiences. They're they're the things that I have phys- that I've done. Okay, so it's not me making up stories. It's it's not me lying about stuff because I'm not going to lie to you, man. You ask me a question, I'll answer it. Um, I might dance around. I don't know. Um, but uh, first of all, you know, um, the shit talking. It's not going to happen. It's it's because it's a fact. So if you can't deal with people being truthful, um, I'm not going to use anybody's name. So everybody. F- Calm down. Let's, let's start there. Um, I'm going to talk about things that I've experienced without indicting anybody, um, without disparaging anybody. Um, mostly I'm going to just kind of disparage myself because the things that I've done um, and not to say that they were heinous, but I'm just saying and the things that I've experienced and the stuff that I put up with. I mean, we all put up with stuff, but and I put up with some stupid stuff right? and that's just my own fault. You know, that's my own me being me. So, um, Again, I hope you learned something. Um, the open and honest, man. This is self-reflection for me, uh, not self-deception. Some of these stories that I share with you are pretty freaking crazy, man. Um, and again, they're my experiences, and I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna out anybody. Um, granted, you know, if somehow somebody figures something out, that's on them. I, like I said, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna give the locations because that just makes it worse. Um, I just want the opportunity to just share with you guys, man. And hopefully this goes to, you know, I got lots of time on my hand, man. So whatever, whatever. So, um, let's talk a little bit about Valentine's Day, um, the history of Valentine's Day. So for those of you that didn't know, uh, Valentine's Day started off as a Roman orgy back in like the second century AD. Um, and so Roman warriors, uh, politicians would go, they'd have this big, you know, uh, bathhouse uh, essentially and then uh, they would uh, put women's names in an urn and the guys would pull them out so that must sound familiar to some of you uh some of you lifestyle aka swingers out there um because you know there's keys in the hat shake them up and you take the keys you go home with the person whose keys you pull right um i think a lot of you guys may be familiar with that maybe not i don't know man I'm not, that's not my bag i don't like to share um maybe that's my fault maybe that's a that's a, a fault in me but i really don't like sharing um when i'm dating somebody or when i'm in, you know, uh, in a relationship, um, I'm not into voyeurism or, you know, I'm not into being, I mean, I've done some, some stuff where I've uh, been a little bit exhibitionist, but you know, like that sometime in high school, I think one time, I'm not going to talk about that one. Um, I mean, well, I could, but I'm trying to keep it, keep, keep it at least PG 13. Um, but yeah, so Valentine's day, back to Valentine's day, I'm going to say, Dre. um, what we really have to look at is that Chaucer, in one of his writings in like the 14th century, romanticized it. So it, up until the time, it had been this Roman orgy. Uh, Valentine had did not had disobeyed the Roman emperor. They chopped his head off, so that's where they got the Valentine's Day name. Um, not the greatest of orig- origins, if you really think about it, but uh, still not not anything heinous. Well, that is heinous. I, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. So um, that's where we get Valentine's Day. The one cool part is this is the last holiday before cuffing season is over so all you out there that shacked up like in september maybe you know or i don't know august october ish is when we look at cuffing season cuffing season is a new thing it started off around 2011 is what we think um nobody's really sure where it came from there's some, there's some you can you can just google it and look it up and get your own you know if you're really really interested in cuffing season cuffing season is for people who just want to fill the void you know, oh, I want a date. I need a date for these holiday parties. So you get somebody that you're comfortable with, you know, you hook up with them, whatever. You don't hook up with them. It doesn't matter. I mean, like, that's 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 between you two. My point is, when you get a partner during cuffing season, 
when the cuffing season's over, you should expect to be dumped. I mean, like, hey, Valentine's Day is great. I mean, you know, you get the flowers. Um, if you have an issue with flowers, like, seriously, you can get flowers at, like, the 99 cent store at Costco and some of these other places, discount places, for, like, 20 bucks a dozen. If you order flowers, and I have done this multiple times, just trust me on this, and spend 150 bucks for flowers that are going to die, I'm going to do a short tomorrow about this because the flowers my stepdad bought my mom, they're already dying. I mean, like... Which is which is suitable to me. I mean, not for them, but I mean, like, if you buy flowers and they die by the end of the week, it's into cuffing season anyways, you need to break up. I mean, like, come on, let's be realistic. I mean, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, cuffing season is almost over. If the NFL would decuff themselves from the Chiefs, that'd be great too. But Kelsey and, and Swift, eh, come on, man. The NFL got their extra 100 or 10 million, 20 million, 15 million viewers. It's good to go. But all in all, Valentine's Day. Okay, let's get back to it. So I made myself... A Valentine's Day card because I don't have a Valentine this year, which is actually by choice. I'm totally okay with that. Um, and I wrote in there, you know, uh, Happy Valentine's HDD, Happy Valentine's Day. This is my favorite. I made just, you know, just something for me to keep. Because you, know, you know, you gotta love yourself. If you don't love yourself, then what the hell are you thinking? Um, but back to flowers, okay? Flower selection is important. So you want to buy roses. You can get the cheap ones. It doesn't matter where the buds are small, like small buds. So that way they have some time to develop and open. All right. If you buy ones that, oh, they're already fully in bloom. Those mamma jammas are going to die, man. Bad, bad idea. Bad idea. So um, that's that's my two cents on flowers. Um, if I'm going to say partners, I'm not going to say ladies or men. Partners, if you value your relationship, you value it on the amount of money your man spends on you, the amount of money your woman spends on you, or your partner spends on you. You know what? I got a, I got a gift for you. It's called a golden shovel. The golden shovel is for gold diggers. So you know what? If if the dinner wasn't enough money, you didn't spend enough money on me, or she didn't spend enough money on me, or vice, it doesn't matter. If, if they didn't spend enough money on you, and the flowers weren't big enough, and I only got one dozen, and I, wanted, I deserve three dozen, you need to reevaluate yourself, all right? Because the reality is this. That relationship, maybe it's a cuffing season relationship. I don't know, man. That's cool. But like, if you value that, and I'm going to share a story here real quick. If you put that dollar value on your relationship, then your relationship is doomed. Been there, done that. Done it both ways. Been been broke out of college and had in a relationship where I was told I don't make enough money to support this person. This one of my ex-wives. And I've been there in a situation with the story I'm about to tell. I'm going to go ahead and start it. I was dating someone that was uh, a little quite younger than I was, maybe 20 years younger than I was, um, mid-20s, mid I was in my late 40s, so this is a few years back. Um, I'd been traveling a lot, I traveled internationally for work, and uh, at the time, so I was like kind of listening, and, and one of the things I do is I listen throughout the year um, to the person I'm with, to the girl I'm with, the girl I'm with, let's be, let's be real about this, you guys know, and I listen to what they have to say. And I take notes in my phone. I put, no, guys, this is, this is a big tip here. Put notes in your phone. If she says, oh, I like this or I like that, type the notes in your phone. Don't do it in front of her, obviously, because she can go, what the hell are you doing? And those notes, save for the rest. So those are birthday notes, man. Those are Christmas notes. Those are, that's the bomb. You just gotta, but you got to listen. You got to be actually paying attention to them. I mean, like, and I, I've done that for a lot of years. When I was younger, I absolutely did not do that stuff, man. I was horrible. I mean, I was just like, oh, I actually got my first wife. A potato masher and some mixing bowls for Christmas. That was like, yeah, good job, Gary. So um, not really um, the best Christmas gift, actually, because actually, I think she cried that year. We were just our first year in Germany. Um, so I, that bad, 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 bad. I was horrible with gifts. Now I kind of consider myself pretty decent with gifts. Um, so case in point, I went and uh, this person, she she liked to get her nails done. and she, But she had talked about, you know, I was traveling a lot. So I, she uh, and I took care of that kind of stuff at that time but she talked about she wanted to get a massage she didn't have any body contact i understood that um so i bought our 250 dollars massage package um very nice place and uh told her on valentine's day i sent it to her and i said happy valentine's day i was at the office and so i was back in the u.s and she says what the f do i want this for they don't do hair and nails at this place and that was her response okay um on top of that She's like, are you still going to get my car detailed? And I'm like, yes, I'm going to take care of your car. And maybe that's my fault for being monetary in this situation. because I could, But I could afford to, so I was cool with that. But uh, 
Yeah, um, needless to say, that relationship didn't last much longer. Um, kind of broke on and off. People actually did not want to hang out with us because we were so volatile in public. Um, and um, yeah, I'm guilty, guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. I, I, you know, I would go on like two days. I'd go get home and go on to go hang out with. I want to hang out with the boys. I would hang out with everybody. I'd hang out with the boys, and the boys, you know, sometimes that would be it'd be the whole weekend. So shame on me, right? So uh, that's okay. That that relationship did not work. Um, we do not speak anymore, and that's enough of that. So um, I want to talk about another. So I bought roses from one of the ex-wives one time, and I got two dozen. And I don't remember what I did. I don't think I did anything wrong. Um, and by Valentine's Day, it doesn't sour me, but I, I think it goes back to the amount of money we spend trying to put a monetary value on our relationship and love. And I, I don't know if that's the right that's the right thing. But she, I bought two dozen roses for Valentine's Day, and I bought a bottle of champagne, and we were at home and. I don't know what set her off, and I don't I really. And, and to be honest, look, I'm going to tell a story where I was at fault. A couple of them, actually, but maybe just one. But the reality is, man, I, and I keep saying, guys, just you know, don't listen to me, don't do what I do, but uh, do as I say, not as I do. And I don't even want to say that. I didn't. I think that she really just keyed on the fact that I wanted to drink champagne, which I don't understand. It was Valentine's Day. I want to go to Pound Town and drink some drink some champagne. Go to Pound Town. And maybe crash out and go to Pound again. I don't know, man. We'll see. But um, we're married. I mean, like, what, what's the problem with that? But she got upset with me and she uh, threw the roses all over the hood of my car. Um, and then I had to end up, I had to leave and go to my condo, I think, because she called the police for some reason. I don't know. I don't remember that one particularly. Um, and then it, I think it was just a few weeks later that, yes, I went back. Um, I went back a few weeks later, and uh, then we got into another argument over, I don't remember, oh, I got a new job, so we're celebrating the raise and this, that, and the other, and I wanted to have some champagne again. Maybe champagne is your trigger, I don't know. Um, I should have did a trigger warning at the beginning of it, I didn't. Um, she shattered all the wine glasses and all the glasses that had anything to do with alcohol in the sink. And then uh, she put, did she put her, I think she put her, her wedding ring down the sink one time too, so. Listen, I, I guess... Me wanting to drink and celebrate was her trigger. So that's my fault. Um, it's not my fault, but I'll take responsibility because I've learned a long time ago. Take responsibility for stuff, even if you know you're not wrong, because it goes a lot easier. Uh, I did not take responsibility on that particular day. It was just, it was, a, it was a mess. Um, I dated a girl one time, and she brought me, like, chocolates, and this is an attorney, so I'll, I can leave it at that. Um, she brought me some very nice chocolates, chocolate-covered strawberries, um, it was in the coffee season. I broke up with it like three days later. I didn't do this maliciously, but I took the, the bag that the strawberries came in and she had left some stuff at my apartment. And so I put them back in the bag and I gave it back to her, not consciously thinking that that would, that would look like, and I, it, it, so I, I know you're not watching. And if you are watching, um, I apologize because, um, uh, that was, that was pretty short. First off, that was very absent-minded of me. Um, secondly, that was just, I don't know. Um, she was looking, she, she was very, she was a very nice person when it was just one-on-one, -on -one. but when she was in public, I think she had to do some boosters for her self-esteem, so she had to be very dominant. Like I said, she was an attorney, but yeah, so be it. That That's not, not a thing uh, that I really, really, really want to delve into on this episode. Um, future episodes, definitely, we're going to talk about dating in your circle. We're going to talk about dating married people. Uh, we're going to talk about people that I don't choose, I choose not to date, like, uh, and I'm not going to go into it right now. Um, definitely going to talk about, um, first dates. We're going to talk about marriage. We're talking about communication. Uh, I'm going to try to stay off politics and sports, although it is going to happen. Um, please ask me questions. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, do not trash me in the freaking comments, please. Obviously first shot, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not asking you to listen to me. As a matter of fact, don't listen to me. I mean, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to my podcast. But don't, don't, if I tell you to do something, I may give you an exact example of how it's going to turn out. Like, if you meet somebody and you're, oh my God, blah, 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 and you start saying things, and, and, and I've heard this before because I've experienced it. I'm going to tell you, hey, I've experienced this before. This is what's going to happen, and it's going to take 10 days or two weeks. And uh, you go, oh, no, 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 this person's great. And, you know, you're love struck at that point, or you're, you're, smitten and like 10 15 days later oh my god gary you were right yeah i know i was right but i mean i don't care I, listen 
nobody's gonna listen nobody listens to me anyway so it's okay don't listen to me I'm, I'm, but don't really seriously but don't listen to me um, but in all in all it's about experience it's about self-reflection and uh, don't don't deceive yourselves man don't lie to yourselves it, it, it makes life so much easier um, I put a pink shirt on because it's Valentine's Day uh, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna dress up I'm just not, the sunglasses probably gonna wear these all the time I don't know might not if you don't like them let me know I'll, I'll do a poll um, subscribe hit the like button um, and deuces everybody happy Valentine's Day hope you have a great day hope your loved ones do something good for you if you don't have any loved ones date yourself check out date yourself on Instagram peace out